Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Miss Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Supergirl. I think this is season, I know it's season 4. I think it's episode 18. But the episode is called Crime and Punishment. So it's off when the president makes a speech to condemn Supergirl and all aliens and includes a curfew. Then we have Supergirl still wants to help people and so she tries to help this one guy but um, people stop her, but she still managed to save the guy. But, you know, he's still pissed. Even the guy that she rescued is mad at her because of everything that's happened. So now Supergirl is in, like, in this downward spiral and she's very distraught about everything. But Lena and Supergirl talk to the warden in charge of Lux's um, cell. And they're going to go search it. But the prisoners on the way to the, her um, Lux's cell mock her so bad but they go into uh, on the cell and they basically there's notes and chess pieces that went back to um cars uh, i mean not cars but lena's uh, surgery that she was performing on all these people to test the um the superhuman injection thing and lots of Supergirl about it. Seems like 1918, not 2018. And <clears throat> she figured out that um, there's a checkmate pattern that they have to do and found a bunch of diaries and journals and stuff in the chess board. And then we cut to where Locke was at the D.O. and he's here to get uh, weapons to fight Supergirl. Then we cut to where Brainy suggests to scrub alien um, registry. And, um, literally only talks to Alice Ballot. Haley's like, <laughs> just give the man what he wants. And, um, so, she's like, if you feel like you need to do that, you should do that. <laughs> and then we get to where James is going to, um, a therapist with, um, the sister. And then Alex calls her, because he was just dropping, he was, she was just dropping him off. So Alex calls her, and so they talk, and basically, she's like, how do I deal with this person? And she says, and she gives really, really solid advice saying, look, you literally, you don't need to yell. You need to think smart. And <clears throat> it's like, don't get mad, get smart. And then we cut to um, Brainy literally gets to the control room to delete the registry and then get, uh, then has like, she, he's written a bunch, a bunch of scenarios and it's going to like a 50-50 split of what could happen. And then we cut to where Lena and Supergirl um, struck out, but they noticed this guy that was uh, had a mirror that was looking at them through his cell. And then we cut to where James is in session and so the uh, therapist provides him, um, him with a technique. He tries it and gets a flashback and starts to freak out again and the therapist says just do it again and he's seeing to calm down a little bit. But we have that injection stuff is at his neck though. And then we have Supergirl talks to the guy at the prison and literally got nowhere. He literally mocks her and puts her down. And then we cut to where Brainy talks to Nia and, t and basically she tells him to destroy it so he's like okay. <laughs> And then we cut to Alex talks to Haley, and that just went awful. <laughs> then we cut to where um, Otis is at the prison, and basically releasing the prisoners to get to Supergirl. So then we cut to where Lex gives her, I mean, Lena. Crap, I don't know why I didn't put that. Lena gives Kara a, or Supergirl a shield for the kryptonite. Then we have really fun, a really cool fight scene of her going just literally beating the crap out of these prisoners and throwing back into a cell. And then we cut to where James is having an episode at work, but um, what was strange about this one is the injection stuff was like moving through him and his eyes went black for a second and then like he crushed his lamp, he was hearing coffee, he was hearing all these other things. And then we cut to where the warden is um, offed and gone. Then we cut to where uh, Lena is reading the journal, and then um, she had a flashback of Lex talking about this mountain area, and then she goes up to, because he drew the same thing on the wall, and 
found a secret room. And we cut to where Supergirl versus uh, Otis Metallo. And then we cut to where the National Guard is there too. So basically Kara turned back into a reporter. So Supergirl turned into Kara basically and I did like, I don't know where she went. Cause she was getting her butt kicked by Otis because of the whole um, kryptonite thing. Then she ran into the same guy that was mocking her and put her down as Supergirl. So uh, it turns out the guy's a fan of Kara Danvers and we'll definitely talk to her later because um, the National Guard were coming in so Kara left and went back into Supergirl and met Lena in the secret room. And then we cut to, and we see that Lex has uh, surveillance of the Desert D.O. And then we cut to where Supergirl, um, sorry. And then Lex set off Otis as a uh, weapon and he explodes. And so, um, Supergirl and Lena managed to get out in time. Then we cut to where Nia had a dream of Brainy getting, um, uh, dragged away by the Children of Liberty. And called Brainy, and basically he did delete the registry, but also put another copy in his brain. And then we cut to where Locke was at the D.O. And, um, Haley pressed the button twice, because, um... She knows about press one for her to come, press two is a trap, don't come. And so she, so Alex talks to her about it after um, Lockwood leaves and says um, she did it for her daughter. And then we cut to her Supergirl and said, wait, I just want to stay low. Other people can help and, you know, everything. I just need to lay low. So then we cut to where James called her sister and tells her to call Lena about the whole injection thing. And then the president lets the children of Liberty be deputized. Then we cut to where Kara meets the prisoner. And then we cut to where Otis is alive. And thanks to um, um, Eve. And then we found out that um, when Kara meets with the prisoner, he gives her Lex's hard drive. So that was a crazy episode. Some of the things I was not even expecting, um, but I really, really enjoyed it. I give this episode a strong A. I thought it was really good. And it was thoroughly enjoyable, and I love the fight scenes. I love the twists and turns, and we have still, Lena is still very on our guard with Supergirl and everything. I just, everything is just so crazy. But I wonder if they're going to, um, if that's going to get out of the D.O. And I wonder if John is going to give her her memory back about everything. So I don't know how that's going to work, <laughs> to be honest. And um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. I think it's going to be very, very interesting um, the next few episodes. And also, sorry for not recording last night. I was so tired yesterday. It was stupid. I was asleep by 8.30. So, yeah, sorry about that. But anyway, and I got like a bunch of stuff to do today too. I'm just like, oh my God. So hopefully I'll be able to record tonight for the other two shows. If not, sorry in advance. But anyway, I'll see you on the next episode. And I hope y'all have a super awesome day. And uh, don't forget to comment down below. Tell me what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just send me your thoughts down below. And um, suggest for any other shows. I'll get to it probably like in 2049. But anyway, we'll get there. And don't forget to subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.